acting uh, director of my second man, Uganda. Uganda. I hope I've said it right. Uh, but other, otherwise, uh, let me just say what Paul observed. As I indicated, uh, I'm very, very happy to be here to see the end of this training. And what is uppermost in my mind is to know whether this training was beneficial to you guys. We don't want to do something that is not helping. So can I just see by raise your hands if you thought uh, it was helpful? See, the conclusion or the end of this training is because you people are very, very important to Botswana, important to economy, important to all of us. Do you know that you are important? Do you know that you are important? Yes. Because we are just looking at you to actually transform this country from where it is to upper, not upper, high income status. I think we all know that we have been stuck at the middle income status for a long time. Now, I, I, I hope that we have heard the president and where he wants to go. He says it is time that now we go to high income status. But we cannot go to high income status in the studies for that we have right now, where we are depending on diamonds. Diamonds are good. They've actually made us to be where we are now. But we need to transform. And to transform to be a, an economy that is agile, an economy that is knowledge-based rather than resource-based, we, we need all of you actually be there creating jobs for yourselves, creating jobs for other people. So that is why I respect you so much. Because you are out there, you are not just talking, but you are actually doing it. I think it's good to talk. As you know, in Botswana, we are known very much uh, for developing very good policies. But when it comes to implementation, we struggle. But you people have demonstrated what it can be done. Because you are out there, you have developed your own businesses, you are working on them, you are actually doing good to this country. You have employed yourselves and you have employed other people. And this is what we want. Because there's no way that you can go to that high income status, leaving the rest of the people barely below the poverty that I'm lying. Like what? We cannot. But with you people creating jobs, for yourselves first, and for other people, we are going to bring other people by number that lower down there to a, a level where we can now proudly say we are a high income status country. Maybe I should just start from the beginning to say um, I am here to give a word of appreciation, which is a very uh, small task. And um, I'm doing this on behalf of my acting uh, policy specialist for the youth development desk. Also for the Ministry of Youth Empowerment, Sport and Culture Development. And uh, firstly, let me talk to the young people to say um, um, I believe we have had a good time for the past time that we have been here. Um, and we have gained uh, new skills and new competencies that are going to actually help to be able to um, do well in your businesses and your groups uh, wherever you had challenges in your. Um, you know, those who know English, they say knowledge is power. So without knowledge, um, there is nothing that can be able to do. So I think um, this training should have helped to gain some new skills and competences, like I've said, so that we can improve your business. Even the Bible says we carry because of lack of knowledge. So it's very important that whatever information that we gain, whatever skills, new skills, and new competencies that we have gained from this workshop, we utilize them for the success of our of your own businesses. I believe you had some short notes where you are taking notes, and you are going to use those short notes. You are going to use whatever information that you gain from here, you know, for your own business. You are not going to keep it under your 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 your, your desks, but you are going to use it as much as you our phones. Our phones are always on our hands. So let the information that we have gained here, let it be always on your hands, on your desk, so that you can remind, constantly remind ourselves of what we have learned and apply the skills that we have learned. 
And it's also, knowledge is very important because, you know, um, first we have to also know about yourself, your capabilities, your strengths, your weaknesses, and always try to work, you know, especially on weaknesses, to work on all your weaknesses and to try and um, up, um, upgrade yourself on the things that you are not able to, to, uh, to do. So basically this program is, it's, 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 um, it's emanating from the partnership we have with the Ministry of Youth. What we wanted was access to businesses, particularly businesses of the youth. And we realized that the Ministry of Youth has quite a database and because we realized that they run a youth um, business expo yearly, we decided to tap into that particular database. So what we do is we take all the winners from every industry, winner one, winner two, winner three, and we expose them to our business model or our entrepreneurship model. What is this model? This model starts with a training, a week-long training program that you know helps the businesses or the young business people to introspect based on their capacity and their ability as a business in the context of the current market in real time. And doing that, we, we you know, through the, the, the week long, we interrogate issues, we impart some knowledge, we bring in cases that help them really understand the situation they are at. And once this training is over, which, you know, they would have learned how to manage their monies, how to cost, how to, to price, how to keep records, um, you know, how to strategically buy, you know, because sometimes they just buy things which are not necessarily, which means they're holding money into something that they don't necessarily need. So those are some of the things, the skills that they learn through this one week long training. But after that, it doesn't stop there because this is a journey. What we do is now we put them through an incubation process, which has um, um, a specified period, but depending on the type of business and the type of situations that you're going through. So if you, for example, if your business could have a lot of issues, more than seven issues that are deterring you from succeeding as a business, your incubation process may actually be longer. So it's going to be varied based on these businesses. So it's incubation, it's individualized incubation. So with the incubation, they're going to go through a, you know, a series of programs, some formal training, um, some coaching, some mentoring, basically hand-holding them through the issues. And also because we have a wide network, you know, we network, we would facilitate networking so that they benefit from, you know, so, you know, so much that you can get from networking, skills transfer, exposure, and stuff like that. So that's what the incubation process is also going to be able to do for them. So it's, 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 that's what this program really is about. And, you know, why are we playing in the space? Because I'm sure you're thinking there are so many players in the space. Why are you coming in and what's going to be your relevance and your significance? We are realizing that there are a lot of startups, businesses start every day, every minute in this country. But to what extent do they succeed? That's where we come in. We don't see growth. And growth, we would be realizing it if, you know, the business would employ more people. There was bigger economic um, contribution and we don't realize that as a country so that's very necessary and for us we think if we can just take start startups and migrate them to businesses which show growth then you know we, we, we then that 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 would be better contribution and that will be our country our role in this landscape of developing entrepreneurs